हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कोडिंग ड्राफ्ट बाय कनिका टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सम क्वेश्चंस ऑफ जावा व्हिच आर मोस्टली आस्क्ड इन वाइवा और इंटरव्यूज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग इफ यू आर न्यू टू आवर चैनल देन फॉर मोर वीडियो लेक्चर्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट सो आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज जावा जावा इज अ हाई लेवल ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड इट इज मेनली यूज्ड फॉर एप्लीकेशन प्रोग्रामिंग और डेवलपमेंट It was initially called Oak, but later renamed Java. Next question is: Mention any two features of Java. Java is an object-oriented language, as all program code and data resides within the objects and classes. So Java is object-oriented language, and also Java is a platform-independent language. And Java is popular due to its Vora capability. Write once. run anywhere capability or we can say platform independent our next question is explain platform independent feature as java has a unique compilation and execution process so when we create a java program and save it with dot java extension and when we compile that program then the java compiler converts it into a bytecode this bytecode is platform independent which means it can be run on multiple systems this bytecode is then executed by jvm which is our java virtual machine that's why java is platform independent mention the core principles of java object oriented programming the principles are encapsulation inheritance polymorphism and abstraction here encapsulation means wrapping data variables and methods together as a single unit inheritance as java allow one class to inherit the fields and methods of another class as the class that is derived from another class is called a subclass and the class from which it is derived is called a superclass next is polymorphism which means many forms it allows to use same method or operation to do different things based on the type of object that is calling it for example an operation may exhibit different behaviors in different instances the behavior depends upon the types of data used in different instances next principle is abstraction it is a concept of hiding the implementation details and showing only the necessary features of an object so these are the core principles of java object oriented programming language now the question is difference between jdk jre and jvm jdk which is java development kit it contains tools for developing java applications including jre which is java runtime environment and tools like debuggers and compilers jre which is java runtime environment it includes jvm and libraries which are needed to run java applications jvm java virtual machine it is responsible for running java bytecode on multiple platforms what is the extension of java source code file and compiled java bytecode file so our extension of java source code file is .java and extension of compiled java bytecode file is .class our next question is does an object in java takes heap memory in java objects takes up the memory when we create an object java allocates memory for that object on heap now the question is does a class without any object takes up the heap memory so if we do not create any object of a class then there will be no memory allocated on the heap as heap memory is allocated whenever we creates an object in java so in simple words if we declare a class but do not create any object then it doesn't take up the heap memory our second last question is what is the role of this keyword in java so in java this keyword refers to the current object inside a method or a constructor last question of today's lecture is difference between final finally and finalize in java final is a keyword and access modifier in java and it is used with variables methods and also with classes to restrict the modification final is used with variables to make variable a constant and when final is used with methods 
then it will prevent the method from being overridden and when final is used with classes then it will prevent the class from being inherited finally finally keyword is used to create a block of code so finally block is a section of code that always runs after a try block no matter what happens whether an exception was thrown or not finalize finalize is a method in java it is just opposite to initialization and it is similar to destructors that we use in c++ in java when an object is about to be destroyed by the garbage collector then the java virtual machine will automatically calls the finalize method so these were some questions if you have any doubt then you can mark in the comment section thanks for watching and for more videos please like share and subscribe my channel